This is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. But I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Tracks delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Gets some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. The feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. And we need him alive. That's an important point. Alive, I got it.
got here? You Benedict Albright? Oh, sir? Huh. Kinda look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I heard him. I heard good things. I'll pay in gold. If you could help me find him. It's just... My mother's real sick. Oh! Well, if that's the case, if it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, you know? A medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> what? Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. I'm taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. And there's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Oh, partner, that's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. That I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This, this is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Hold on. I'm slipping. Shit. No. Wait, 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 wait. You saved me! Now, come on, buddy. Let's make this easy. What, you're taking me in? It's just for question. Oh, hey, you saved my life! Well, ain't we had enough drama? I, I'd be better off jumping. I, they expressly told me not to kill you. What? Oh, this is about you. <sighs> Don't jump! Or oh, 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 what? You can't shoot me! Oh. Please. I'll take my chance. Come here! Uh, bye, friend! I really do not like you. Swim to the end! 
This is uh, very kind of you. suffering from exposure. <laughs> Suffer a little longer. Oh. Oh. I seem to keep blacking out. Oh. Sir, I must warn you, my temperature is subnormal. I have medicine in my pocket. Would you pass it to me, please? isn't necessary. I'm a medical man, a healer. It's all just a big mistake. Oh, I don't feel 
feel very well. I told you to shut up. What? Who made you judge? I'm only in it for the money. Oh, I don't feel well at all. You're a bully, sir. We're going for a walk. You dumb son of a bitch! <laughs> Here, Jeff Dye woke up in the stable this morning with his pants around his ankles. This will be the first time. We don't understand anymore, and that's the truth. Oh, my lord. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Uh, Mrs. Calthorpe was, uh, was just leaving. Sure. Where you want him? I'm selling the back. Oh. Oh, there's been some terrible mistake. I never did it. Any of it. I thought I told you to shut up, partner. Oh, oh, but I told but you. But nothing. Shut up. And, uh, good luck. Oh. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. If you ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner. I've already forgotten it. Now, sure, um, how much was you offered? Uh, $50. Here. Thank you. Madam. Uh, please, remember what I told you. Better not be following me. Someone shot old Ferguson's dog. Poor man's heartbroken. I know how he lived for that one. How's that horse doing? I got space for you if you need stabling. If you ain't got the papers, I can't give you the full price. Excellent choice, sir. 
Safe travel. Welcome. In the mood for a show? Ticket, please. We'll be starting soon, just inside the tent there. tale from when our country was young that the settlers used to tell about the woods of Massachusetts and the creatures that lived there. One summer, a bear was by the stream, and old man Wind appeared and said, Bear, I shall blow a mighty cold upon the land, and gorge yourself on fish and meat, and go find a den. Then sleep, not for one night, but for 60, go tell all the animals of the forest what I have told you. Bear was sad because the fish were his friends, and now he had to eat them. But he knew to do whatever the wind told him. The animals of the forest often teased Bear and said he was slow and lazy and foolish for listening to old man wind. You're talking to the wind again, eh? Laughed the rabbit. I think Bear has finally taken leave of his senses, said the turtle, and he's getting so rotund that even I could outrun him. I'm smart and quick, said Rabbit. I'll outrun old man Wind if he comes a-calling, or you, since you're into eating your friends, the turtle said. If Wind comes, I'll just hide in my shell. Then Bear went and warned Coyote and Possum that they should prepare for a long, cold winter. It's so hot, said the coyote. There's plenty of time. The lazy possum said, well, there's an abundance of food. Maybe I'll just store some in my pouch. Even his squirrel friends made fun of Bear. They laughed and laughed and squibbled and squabbled. Chunky needs a nap. Fatty Goody Two-Shoes does what he's told. Bear was very sad. But he was a good bear, and he always did what old man Wind told him. He went and found a den, snuggled inside, and fell fast asleep. Bear snored and snored for many days. When he woke up, he saw spring had come. He was very hungry, so he walked outside. As the snow melted, he saw all his friends who hadn't listened frozen and just ready to be eaten. And that's why the bear hibernates. So listen to your elders and do just what you're told.
seems everyone with a rifle been hunting these of late. A lot of folk coming by with these lately. Some folks think if a man's a good shot, he's a good hunter. Ain't so simple. You can't find him, you can't shoot him. Best tracker I ever knew could trail a butterfly across an ice sheet. Thanks, Mr. Let's see what you're selling. Careful playing cards in this town. Some real cheaters around here. <laughs> Ain't nothing special, but sure. Can't hurt. Someone might want it. Mm. I had an old lady shoplifting here the other day. Can you believe that? Okay, then.
Uh-huh. Don't really need it, but why not? Ain't nothing special, but sure. Oh. All right. Don't really need it, but why not? Can't hurt. Someone might want it. Appreciate it. Thanks for coming in. You never nothing cheating, you bastard! I ain't hearing no Come more on, of this. Boy. I won that game fair and square. Morning. Well, hello again. Costing you a pretty penny to repay your debt. Must have been big trouble you made at that price. Thanks, partner. Ain't got 
bad for you, mister. Te debo la vida. Good luck with it. Que alivio. How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. 
Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? I... Just... <clears throat> Where is that little Irish pest? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the Blackwater to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Uh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they wanna trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skelding's boys are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well... We'll rescue Sean, and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. All right, boy. Let's head up river and find this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river, West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as doing? bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I keep hearing about this woman, Heidi McCourt. Some young mother, they're saying, Dutch murdered on the boat. I don't know about that. I wasn't there. Bad day. And no money, yet, it seems. I hope you know where that is, at least. Down there. Reckon those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. Keep your guns away until we know it's Sean, okay? I know what you two are like. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, we should keep it down. Let's go. Stay with them. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. the pace a bit apparently there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west I imagine that's where they're headed Hey, they've pulled into shore. 
Get your binoculars out. Let's see what we're dealing with here. these bounty hunters I don't know too much about Ike Skelton's boys but I hear they're a big crew and wild built some reputation in the last year or two that looks like Sean to me certainly kicking up enough of a fuss yep that's definitely Sean oh they're giving him a decent kicking well you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them oh yes they're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. If we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Get your knife ready. Keep your head down. Wait. Okay, let's move down. Don't cross until he's got their attention. Gentlemen, excuse me, dear brother. Duck I'm down. Taken ill, gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. She's you take the one on the left. Let's go now. Turn. Keep down. I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, Mister. I, I can't. I can't. I, I'm having a fit. <laughs> Come on, let's get up there. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here.
up there. Less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. <laughs> Do we get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all miss me a lot. But fear not, the joy is back in your lives now.
Let's go, boy. <laughs> I'm glad I found you. Arthur, they got Bill. What? Who has him? Bounty men. I found their cam nearby. They got Bill tied up. I'm gonna go take care of it. Come on. Oh, sloppy Bill. Yeah, well, you coming? All right, lead the way. So how'd you find him? He said he was going hunting. Never returned. I was able to track them pretty easily. Only a matter of time before they decide to pick up camp and head for town to collect the bounty. Guess we're in socks again. When are we not, Arthur? Fair point. What'll Dutch do? Ain't for me to say. Doubt Bill will like it, whatever it is. He's a problem. We all know it. Is that for me to say? Yeah, I think it is, Arthur. Well, let's save his ass first. Worry about how to kick it later. Okay. Okay, we're getting close. There they are. On foot from here. There, boy. Take out your position. Hey, you idiots ever hear a Dutch's 
boys. You're gonna pay for this. Ugh. You have no idea what hell is coming your way. We're shaking in our boots. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. <sighs> I'm bored listening to this son of a bitch. Hey, let's take him into town and collect on the bounty. Get us some money. Won't be long before you'll be tucked up in a nice... I'm ready when you are, Arthur. Then you can talk all you want. <laughs> Scavengers Your have the wrong target.
Hey, listen! I just wanted to say... Arthur! Oh, oh Arthur! Hey, you seem in a good mood. I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun. Tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. Uncle Sean is back. Mr. McGuire, and don't you back. worry, Miss Grimshaw, so you crone. Let's have I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them, I will. If you get a bump on the head. <laughs> and don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, Deadeye McGuire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. I love you, bastards. <laughs> Have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> I'm sure you will. <laughs> Can we drink now, please? Let's drink! Uh-oh, here comes Crow. I just can't get rid of you, can I? Mind if I join you, fine folk? Still want to like you. Get lovely as ever. If I may say so. Nothing white beach sitting by the fire. You can have the hounds of hell after you and all the angels of vengeance alongside them, but a warm fire and you feel all is okay. Them that discovered the stuff must have thought they was gods among monkeys. They discovered fire. In our time, <laughs> they've discovered a wire you can talk down to speak to people you wanted to avoid so much you moved to a different town to escape them. Drop some of that loan money in the box. You know what? But that taught me something. And 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 it taught me something. Ah, it's good to be back. I even missed you. You most you old bastard. <laughs> and I missed a good excuse to celebrate. <laughs> you can tell the difference. Of course, Dutch. Look at me, with the bell of the ball. <laughs> Stop it, you! Will you dance with me, Arthur? Whoop! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sure, but I ain't much of a dancer. Stop thinking you're angry and sad. Well, what you think of me? <laughs> sad in a good way, like a romantic poet. Well, that's <laughs> about all I can muster. <laughs> well, well, well. Oh. <laughs> 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 Okay. Well, thank 
you, Mr. Morgan. Sean will make your life hell when he finds out you're an Odrisku. Oh, great. Just be grateful you're alive. Mr. Morgan! Morgan! Reverend? Hello. Hello. What do you want? I'm not... I'm not quite sure. Oh. This keeps happening. 